Hi, I thought I'd show you how I prepare my digital stamps for printing. Um, I use Word for this. Uh, I've got version 2007. If you've got another version, your page may not look exactly the same as this, but you should be able to find the commands there. OK. Right, so to start with, I'll insert my image. So I go to Insert, then Picture, and there's my image. Okay, now I want to reduce my image. It's always better to reduce your image because if you expand an image from its original size, then it can lose quality. So it's always best to start with a bigger image and reduce it down. Okay, so I just right clicked on the picture, went to size, and I want my height to be two and a half inches. So I put 2.5 in there. Now, because these boxes have a tick in them, this means that the width will change proportionally with the height. So I can just close that and there we are. Now I'd like to move my image further into the corner because I don't like to waste paper. So I will change my page layout, go to margins and pick a smaller margin. There we are, it will print in the corner. Okay, say I wanted to um, put my frosting up on dimensional, um, on 3D foam pads to add some dimension, then I'll want to print out two copies of my image. So I will right click, go to copy, click beside it, right click again and go to paste. And there I have two copies of my image. So I could colour one in, colour the base in on that one, and then colour just the frosting on that one, cut it out with scissors and I can pop it on top with uh, 3D foam pads. That's the kind of thing um, that I do quite often. Okay, when it comes to printing, I would say, um, let's have a look, that if you go to properties, you can increase the quality of the print um, here by picking one of the image options. And also, if you change the type of your paper, I find I get a better print that way as well. Um, and also, another thing is if I am printing in black, I very often tick the black ink only and that will give me a more solid colour. So that's just some tips there as well. I'll be doing two more videos I think at least. One of them I'll be showing you how I recolour my digital stamps which I do an awful lot now especially to match the copics I'll be using to colour them in. And on another one I'll be showing you how to add some text to your digital images. So you can do that within the image or around it. Okay, and I hope that helps.